Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Before we get started with today's video, I want to remind everybody, you can become a member to the channel right here for just 99 cents a month. The MVP, VIP, and Pro versions of these memberships will be going away totally at the end of February, and all those perks will drop down to the eBuzz Central member, which is just 99 cents a month. Great way to support the channel, and of course, a great way to support the content you like. I also would like to thank Rally Aces PC World, who is my newest member. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I want to send a shout out to William Durham and Skimming Death. They rejoined. Um, thank you guys so much for coming back. I really enjoy the support and thank you so much for making this channel what it is. And if you haven't had a chance to see a couple of my last videos, uh, I did a review on Tuxedo OS, which is my newest daily driver. I did a 30 day review. Uh, Pika OS, great distribution, especially if you're into gaming or have compatibility issues. It's really awesome. And then the best distro you've never heard of, which is Big Linux, Arch based. It's an awesome distro. And then we take a look at ChatGPT. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Reborn OS. I'll be sure to include a link in the description below. And one of the reasons I like Reborn is it is a really solid Arch distribution. It uses the Arch kernel, so more or less it's a spin of Arch, in my opinion. Uh, you come down here, it says, Why Reborn OS? It's got a strong community. You can customize it, which you can do with any Linux distro. You get several choices on your install of desktop and window managers. As a matter of fact, we can come down here and you can get it in KDE Plasma, Gnome, Deepin, Cinnamon, Cutefish, Yuki, LXQT, XFCE, Mate, LXDE, Budgie, Enlightenment, Openbox, i3. And that gives you a lot of different window managers. But you get that. You get that with the online install. So if you want to install it, you're going to want to do that online. And it would download the desktop for you that you're going to use. And then, of course, you come up top here. You've got home, download, info, news, community, donate. What I want to do right now is what we're taking a look at today is the XFCE version. And I believe it's one of the better looking XFCE distros out there today. Let's just get to the desktop. And if you download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine. Here's what you're going to be looking at. You can install online or offline. When you install offline, it's going to give you this XFCE. When you install online, you can choose your desktop that you want to install, and it will take a little longer. I will say that. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to install a fresh desktop. If you want to just use the XFCE, it really takes somewhere between four and six minutes. So that's really up to you. And then right here on your little welcome screen and your install screen, you've got install. You've also got links right here to your documentation, support and contribute. You've got the website, the wiki, the Arch Wiki, service status, Discord forum, Facebook, Twitter, feedback, donate, project about us, and then of course utilities. Right here it tells you what you'll be using if you use Reborn OS. To install and uninstall programs is Paymac, System Monitor is Stacer. That is a great application. I covered it in a video about two months back. Hardware info, rate mirrors, bleach bit for your system cleaner, edit repositories, you're using Paste, customized Grub is Grub Customizer. Disk management is Gparted, Firewall, and then, of course, your system backup is TimeShift. Very awesome tool. I recommend that once you get everything set up the way you like it with all your apps and everything installed, zip on over to TimeShift, make a snapshot of your system. So that way, if you should have any issues in the future, you're covered right there and you don't have to worry about it. Then you've got About. Right here, it tells you it's the Reborn OS ISO. You can take a look at the change log if you want to. And then, of course, your credits shows the developers. Okay, we can close out of that and we can go back over to install. You can also go over here and you've got a little console down here. It'll show you everything that the installer is doing if you want to watch that while you're working with it. But that's really up to you. So we'll close out of that. What I want to do real quick is let's go ahead and open up a terminal and it's got NeoFetch right out of the box. Let's go ahead and make this a little bigger so you can see it. A little too big there. So you've got Reborn OS. Kernel 6.1.7-arch1-1. You're using Paymac. It's XFCE4. And then you've got the Add Weta theme, the Free Sans theme, and then I'm using it on my AMD Ryzen 7, which is my tuxedo laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And you've got a nice little background here. I don't think you get a lot of backgrounds with this. I think you get one or two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. It's already switched to that one. I'll just leave it there. Then you've got your menus, your icons, 
let's go ahead and close out of that. You've got Thunar as your file manager. Now this is a very lightweight file manager and I do love the theme that they use for their icons. Like I said, a lot of times when you hear XFCE, a lot of people think that it doesn't give you the eye candy that the KDEs or the GNOMES is going to give you. I really like the look that uh, Reborn OS uses with their XFCE theme. I really, really like it. But Thunar is a lightweight, stay out of your way file manager. You got your usual suspects over here, your desktop and home icons right there. So let's close out of that. You've got Firefox as your browser. And then down here, you've got Reborn OS, date and time, sound, notifications, battery, internet. And then, of course, if you've got to install or update your system, there's PayMac right there. Now, it, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go in here and let's open this up to preferences and go to third party. It does have AUR support, but it's not enabled out of the box. If you want to enable that, you can. Now, you won't have the issues that you have with Manjaro or some of those rolling distributions that are based on Manjaro because this is based on pure Arch. So it's more or less a spin of Arch. So you should be able to use the AUR without issue. Of course, you might have a little bug every now and then that pops up. But if you want to enable it, you just enable it right there. And make sure you enable to check for updates. So that way you stay up to date when new things come out. And then we want to go over to General. And you've got Parallel Downloads of 4. That looks pretty good to me. And one of the other things I do like about this, let's go ahead and close out of the update part of it. Let's go over here. Let's look up software. There's add and remove. Let's go ahead and pull that up. And now let's do a search. Let's say you were looking for something like Krita. Let's go ahead and type that in. Hit enter and it's right there. It shows you it's available in official repositories. That's another thing I like about Reborn OS and PayMac is if you watch my channel a lot, you'll see me do these videos. And when I go into the software manager, it won't let me look anything up because you have to actually install it to be able to see if that software is there for you. What I do like about this is you can run it in a live environment. And if you're somebody that's switching distros or you're new to Linux, you can come in here and make a list of applications that you know that you want. And you can go ahead and just start looking them up to make sure that they're available and that you're going to be able to install them on your new operating system. So that's just me being me. Uh, sometimes people like to do that. I'm definitely a person that does that. I want to make sure that I can get all the applications that I want when I'm switching distributions. So... If you disagree with me, please put that in the comments below. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Let's go down here. And what I want to do is let's go to settings real quick. You've got accessibility, volume control, window managers, XFCE terminal settings, file manager. That's something I want to do. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal and let's see what kind of resources we are using. Let's go to HTOP. It doesn't come with HTOP, so let's go ahead and go with top. And we will look that up. Let's go ahead and maximize that. And of course, make it bigger so you can see it. As you can see, I've got four gigabytes issued to this virtual machine. And at rest, we're using about 715 megabytes, which isn't bad at all, quite honestly. Now, there are some lighter XFCE distros out there. Uh, what I am going to say is I've got terminal open and I am running in a virtual environment. So once you get it installed on real hardware, that number will probably drop by 100, 150. So I'm thinking you'll hover somewhere between 5 and 700. So that's really light compared to a lot heavier distributions that are out there. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And we will come back down here. Let's see what else we got. We got all applications. You can go through here. You've got quite a bit. You've got disk usage, image viewer. You don't have a lot of junk that's just installed out of the box. You've got an image viewer under graphics, internet. You've got your web browser. Uh, multimedia, you got parole media player settings. Like I said, we have add and remove software, and then your system, of course. And then if you come up here and right click, you can create a launcher. Uh, desktop settings, we've already looked at. There's your menus and icons. You can adjust those the way you want. And then, of course, you can reach your applications from right here as well. So you don't have to come all the way over here. So it's pretty laid out. I like the way it's laid out. It's using a newer kernel. And Reborn, to me, is just one of those arch distros that doesn't get a lot of love. And I have people all the time, you know, they'll come up in my comments and go, you know, here's Reborn or here's some other distribution that I've done a review on. And they're like, man, it doesn't even show up on DistroWatch. And I don't even want to go over DistroWatch 
anymore because what people do is they pull up distro watch just like this and they come over here and go mx linux it's number one linux distro what people don't understand is no it's not honestly if i'm going to go out on a limb the number one linux distro is probably ubuntu there's tens of millions of people running ubuntu whether it be in a server application or on their system they just do and mint there's no way mint is number three people love mint now let me show you real quick how DistroWatch gets these numbers. If you look right here, it says MX Linux 2,796 hits per day. What that means is, I'm gonna show you how they count hits. Let me click on it. There's a hit. That is what counts. I just made MX Linux another hit for the day. That's what it is. That doesn't count downloads. That doesn't count visits to their website. That doesn't count anything other than what's going on on DistroWatch. So just remember that. Don't use DistroWatch for a popularity contest. Don't use DistroWatch for something that's going to dictate what you believe is the next operating system that you should use. If you're somebody that likes Arch, if you're somebody that likes XFCE, or you're somebody that just wants to give XFCE a shot, Reborn OS is the way to go about it. I'm not going to go through all of the applications over here because you guys have seen me do that before. They've got a lot of tools over here that you can use. Uh, they got window manager tweaks, things that you can change and adjust in here. Reborn OS, XFCE. Zip on over, download it, throw it on a USB. I think you'll really like it. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. But that's not all. We are also on Nutrion, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month. Or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee. Maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation. Or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video. And I will see you in the next video.